Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be walking you through your um, intro to musical theater day number seven, seven assignment. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to share my screen with you like always so that you can follow along with me as I'm going through the assignment. Today we're going to continue to work on our TEKS 5B and 5C, which are to develop simple and written observations about the visual, oral, oral, and kinetic aspects of theater performances, um, and also to identify production elements of theater, film, television, and other media. And so basically what we're doing with those TEKS is we are looking at the different elements that make a theater performance or different kinds of theater performances, what they are, what makes them unique, what makes them, um, what are their characteristics, what makes them different from other productions, and then being able to write and talk about them. And so um, we're going to start first, of course, with your last name, comma, first name. And then as we finish this up, we're going to go on to our warm up. Remember, um, if you cannot do the same daily stretch routine that we do in class, make sure you do take some time to do a little bit of stretching, maybe roll the neck, roll the shoulders, do some arm circles, do some shoulder lifts and drops, um, stretch side to side, do some other arm stretches, <sighs> just get the body moving. Then you're going to continue with a simple facial stretch as well as um, deep breathing. Inhale through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth, as well as a jaw massage and big face and little face. You will also do some tongue twisters. So as always, you can choose the ones that are provided there for you on the screen, or you can choose any other ones that you might know just from, you know, life, such as Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, uh, rubber baby buggy bumpers, and Russian wristwatch, Russian wristwatch, Russian wristwatch. So notice I picked two that were from the um, slides and one that isn't, one that I just know from you know, my prior experience. Then once you get onto the daily activity page, you're gonna see that today we're continuing on with Newsies, the musical. So we started getting to know Newsies on uh, our last assignment on day six, and now we're gonna be moving on um, to getting to know it just a little bit better. Again, today um, we are going to start with um, kind of like a preview performance. This song, today we're gonna learn about one of the most popular songs from the musical, which is called Carrying the Banner. Um, and we'll watch a short performance of that. Um, so today we are not actually watching the full musical yet. Um, we have one more day of just kind of getting to know it, previewing, introducing it. And then um, your next assignment that you get this week will be where we actually start to watch the full performance of the musical. And so um, Carrying the Banner is probably, if not the most famous song in the musical, it's one of the most. It's kind of like, I feel like every musical has a super popular song that everybody recognizes. And I think this one is, is the one from Newsies. It's the one that you're gonna hear. Remember Newsies which was originally a movie. So if you Google Newsies or YouTube Newsies, um, this is one of the first songs that will pop up. You're gonna hear this song in any trailers or commercials for the movie. Um, it's a very popular song. And it's the first like major, major number in the show. And so basically, um, this song is called Carrying the Banner. And so we start off with our lead, Jack Cowboy Kelly. Again, remember, he's a struggling newspaper boy. This is what he looks like in the movie. Remember, this is actor Christian Bale. Um, he's selling newspapers in the 19, 1890s in New York City. Um, Jack and his fellow newsies, so you can see some of them here in the picture, sell for Joseph Pulitzer's newspaper, The New York World. So that's the name of the newspaper. And they sell on the streets of Manhattan. So remember, Manhattan is a part of New York City. And so basically what happens at the very beginning of the movie, the boys wake up, they hit the streets, um, grab breakfast if they can, and then they head towards the paper distribution center. So back then how it would work is the printing company would print out the papers and then the newsboys would have to go pick them up 
and pay for them um, early in the morning before they head out to whatever spot they were going to go and sell at. And so as they're going over to that um, newspaper company, that's when they sing that song, Carrying the Banner. And so you'll answer your two questions here, which is what is the name of the main song in the musical? Carrying the Banner. And um, what is the name of the newspaper company that the boys work for? Both of those questions you can find here on this slide. And so then what we're going to watch today is we're going to watch a short example performance of Carrying the Banner. This is a live performance for like a morning news program. And so you're going to answer your questions here. How would you describe the mood or feeling of the song? What does it think or remind you of? And then, like I've told you before, Newsies is originally meant to be performed on a stage, on a Broadway stage, theater stage, or on a film set. And so in this video, you're going to see them kind of like performing on the street, like on a regular, you know, street in New York City. They're in Times Square, it looks like. And so um, what changes or what adjustments do you think they had to make in order to perform on the street? And so we're going to learn a little bit more about what happens at the beginning of the production. Um, so sorry, I mean, go and pause if you need to finish this, but once you're done. Um, we're going to kind of preview so that when we watch it um, in our next lesson, you'll know kind of what to expect. Um, basically what happens, so Jack, he, like we talked about, he's a newspaper salesman. Um, and so he, one morning as he's, you know, out doing his job, he meets David, aka Davey, nicknamed Davey Jacobs, um, and, da and um, his little brother Les. So this is the picture of them. This is a stage production, um, so the actors look a little different, but basically here's Jack, here's Davey, and here's Wes. Uh, Davey's the older brother, or not Wes, Les. Les is the little brother. Um, and so Jack notices that David is super smart um, and that Les is very cute. Like he just has that like cute little boy, little kid vibe that makes adults kind of look at him, want to pay attention to him. And so he suggests that they partner up together and that they work together in order to earn more money because he thinks that, you know, between their two skills, between David being really smart and Les being cute and adorable, that they could sell a lot of papers together. And so that's what you can expect to see in that first section of the movie when we watch it, or not the, we're going to watch a stage production, but in that first section of the performance, you know, just so that you're to look for those things. And so you are going to answer the two reflection questions. Again, you can find the answers here on this side, slide. And basically uh, what happens in the very beginning of the story is Jack teaches them like kind of everything he knows. He's kind of showing them the ropes of how to sell newspapers. Um, and he's teaching them how to sell very quickly and very efficiently. Um, and he is, he has some different ways that he tries to sell. Um, and basically Jack, one of the things that he does or one of his strategies to sell more papers is to make the headlines more exciting. So basically like he would stand there and sell the papers and yell out headlines like extra, extra, uh, dinosaur rampage, or, you know, stuff that was made up, not necessarily true, so that people would be interested in buying the paper. They'd be like, ooh, I want to read about that. And so then they would buy it. And then um, even though the story wasn't true, well, they've already sold, they've, they've already purchased the paper and Jack already has their money. So it kind of didn't matter. And um, Davey is kind of like, oh, uh, that's not right, right? Because it's, it's pretty much lying. Um, but Jack doesn't really see it as a big issue. It doesn't, you know, he doesn't see it as a problem. And so, um, and there's this kind of picture, it has a famous, one of Jack's more famous lines from the musical, which is headlines aren't what sells papers. Headlines don't sell papes, newsies sell papes. And so he's kind of saying they're like, or Jack is kind of saying, hey, you know, we have to sell these papers and we're gonna do whatever we need to do to sell them. And so, you know, that's kind of one of the issues that comes up early on in the musical is um, Jack doesn't really, or David doesn't really agree with kind of like the things Jack is doing to sell papers. 
And so you'll answer your questions here. And then tell me, why do you think a newsie would exaggerate a headline like that? And then your last thing you'll do is answer your exit ticket, which is, do you agree? Do you agree with Jack's choice to lie and make up headlines? Like, do you think it's okay that he does that? Why or why not? Then once you're done, you'll hit submit. And once you hit submit, well, that's it. You're done for the day. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. Remember, you can always reach out to me on Google Classroom comments, remind, um, email, or by popping in on our live sessions during the day. All right. Well, that's it for today, everyone. Remember, today is a great day. You're in control of you. Every day is a great day to try your best. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.